All right. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. So, our chair charitable thing is uh, pretty good, and then our brave thing is also up there. Our romantic is pretty up there. Our honest, I guess, is not. But our our social link with relationship, or with sorry, with relationship is through the roof. <laughs> our social link with Ashley is through the roof. Emily's a little bit there, which is sad. Jess is there. Josh, not so much. Matt. Ah, crap. Mike, holy cow, no. He's not my bro, bro. I don't like... Matt's okay. Or, I mean, Mike. Matt's okay, too. But, I don't know. I mean, he's cool, but, like... Don't, don't blame... Don't blame, uh, the death of, like, sure, I can see what he means by the death of that, uh, by the death of Jess or whatever, and he thinks that she's dead, but, I mean, I kind of think she's dead, but also really do think about it. No, she's not dead. She just dropped on the floor. Ashley was concerned about Chris as he left. Aw. Once bitten and twice shy. Emily was bitten. And she was twice shy. Sorry, I'll shut up with my singing. Okay. Um. Yeah, no, I don't think, though, Mike should have been like that. Like, I mean, I can understand again. Yeah, jeez, Louise. Um. Yeah, I, I, I don't know, like, it just, <laughs> yeah, like, Mike just needs to calm down, <laughs> is all, because, I mean, he's, just, like, you know, I, I understand where Josh is coming from, but I, again, can't like that to get revenge. You can't do another prank after someone else did a prank to you. Two wrongs don't make a right. But, yeah. I, I don't know. Again, it's not very... Yeah, I don't know. Like, Mike is cool, but I just wish that he wasn't blaming it all on Josh. That's kind of immature of him. I, I think I've, well, I mean, everybody does that, but, yeah, I sort of wish that none of us could do that, because, I mean, I've done it before, I've done it so many times where I've blamed something on someone else. Oh, a totem, a tote, yay, I'm totes gonna get this tote, ha, 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 not funny. Okay. What's this? Oh, oh, no. Ashley, no. Ashley, no. Ashley, no. I thought that was yellow, though. Let's take a good look at that. Or let's take another look at that. Let's see. Look. See, that's yellow. It's not brown. It's kind of brownish, but that's yellow. I don't know. I guess it's a glitch. Uh, or it's a bug or something. I don't know. I feel childish for calling everything a glitch. Mm, it's a glitch. Mm, yeah, glitch, glitch, glitch. I watch Reboot, but I've never really understood a lot of the terms for it. I just liked the parts where they went into the game. <laughs> and I did like the character development, but it was still kind of like, come on, get get to the game. Get to the games already. But it was a it was a really good show. It was neat. Too bad it had to end. No. And with these don't move sections, I think I've only screwed up once. Maybe twice. And it's amazing because usually... Oh, jeez. 
Usually with these sections. Yeah, exactly. Usually with these sections, I'm not good. I'm like, oh! Oh! Oh my goodness! I was not expecting that. Oh, and I've seen that picture before, but oh man, I didn't expect that. Oh! Don't, don't shoot his dead body. Wow. Holy cow. Poor Wendigo man. Oh. Yeah, like I'm usually so shaky like my mom. <laughs> Slow motion. Duh, 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 duh. Oh no. No! More slow mo. Take that. Yeah, I'm so shaky though, usually, like my mom. Usually I wouldn't do that. Oh, crap. Like I wouldn't do so well. And I would have to hold it on the thing there. Like I'd have to put it down, but no. Oh my god, what happened? There's one to go. Oh no! Oh! Yeah, see that? Duh! I hate that. My precious! My precious! My precious! I'm just gonna eat him. Oh my god, guys, thank god! It took you so long! Not so good. I feel right so bad for not caring about Matt. the flamethrower guy? Got beheaded. No. Yeah, no, he. It cut his head off. Well, it cut him up. It cut his head off. He's so clean, and everybody's so loud. Are you sure? What are you looking for? Another way out. That's also why I don't like that, because Poster Girl gets to look so nice and pretty, and everybody else looks like crap. Sure. Yoga that pants, seriously. Happen, right, oh yeah, my goodness. I mean, that, uh, right? the butt. You can wait. The butt though. Mike, there's no key for the cable car. I guess Josh, Hayden Penis here in real life Josh? is gay. So Great. Great. Yeah, that Josh. Fucking thing got a hold of Josh. Then we should have luck. Well, it I did. Know, Mike, it's Possible. And possible? crap, I should have paid attention. She's mind. so... What? Like, she looked, ooh, what's possible? Ooh. I saw some horrible stuff Squirrel. down there. I think it's where that thing lives, and... Huh. And I don't care about Matt. M. What? Fuck it. I'm gonna get that key right from that thing's goddamn bedroom, and then I'm gonna get us all the hell out of here. No. And what is all that? It's, uh, that old guy's bag. I yeah. was prepared for anything. Yeah. <laughs> Not quite. Yeah, yeah so oh I shouldn't God. have said like that, God. but what about that? I was down there. Uh, Sam, this but because in real life he's he's been a she likes girls. Fifties, <laughs> I guess, and these miners got trapped down there. Oh my God. Some of them survived, but like fifteen of them didn't make Aww. it. Oh. There was this reporter, and I think he figured out there had been some like big cover up. Going found these plans. They knew the mine was a death trap, but they let the miners keep working anyway. And I'm not sure what it means, but I found this chair. Dried blood all over the place, like somebody's been... Must have been an electric chair. Michael, I'd like to maybe focus on how we're going to get the fuck out of here, please. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, <weird>. then. <laughs> how much crazy shit's gone on up here. Yeah. What's weird is that there's a tunnel leading from the lodge to the sanatorium, see? <laughs> That's how I got that key. Sorry. Sanatorium. I was down there. That's where it lives. It lives. Um, ah, don't um, touch me. What is, huh? what is that? Ash. Um, oh no. It's nothing. It just it oh, oh, bit no. me and bit you. What bit you? The the one to go. What? It's nothing. Really, it's not a big. Okay. Did you not it listen to the guy explaining to you what a Wendigo was? M, if that thing bit you, I, I know what you're thinking, and I'm fine. Are you? Yes, Emily, at least let's You won't be out. eventually. Emily, if the 
going to go. Oh, that would be so cool if, like, in the sequel, like, yeah. Well, she's gonna eat you, and then she's gonna turn into a Wendigo. What, Mike? You gotta go. Are you kidding? Yes. Mike, yeah. just hold your head, okay? We don't know if it works like that. Maybe it's just a bite. Mm. You see what these fuckers can do? I don't want to say it again. What is this? Guys, what are you doing? This is... <laughs> this is a democracy. I am letting you do this voluntarily. This is a m democracy. Oh, no, you're just making yourself feel better about sending me to my death since you know there's a Wendigo out there ready to rip me to pieces like it did with... Okay, oh my God, will you just wow. go? Go yeah. get out of here. Whoa, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mike, <gasps> calm down. Mike always Are having to use the gun. Mike, me? This is the safe room, M. Please. It is not safe as long as you're in it. Not for us. No, don't do this. I'm really sorry. Don't shoot her. No. No, I'm not going to do it, I'm not going to do it, I'm sorry, I can't. I think what it is too is if you're in isolation because I saw the little short film or whatever. Okay. If, it's not safe out there. No, no, it's not in isolation. Be back soon. Um, because the guy ate his family, but, uh... Oh, man. You know, I do feel bad, a little bit bad for Emily. But, again, I should have asked about Matt so that I can't feel bad. I... I don't know. I... I should have, but... I, I thought that somebody was going to help us. With a flamethrower, dude? Now we don't have a chance. Yeah. No, guys, it just means we've got to be tough. Mm -hmm. We've got to do this on our own. Ashley, right old here. hotel. 451. Uh, oh, jeez. But yeah, this um... A oh. CD. Okay. Uh, only a few men have dared to hunt the Wendigo. I am the only man who has ever kept them under control. Heed these words, or it shall be your death, and your death will be not will not be the last. The Wendigo must be contained. The Wendigo grows out of cannibalism. When a human is desperate and craves food, trapped on the mountain in the fierce winter storms, when he has eaten nothing for many days, the Wendigo spirit uh, will begin to possess him. Even the strongest man is weak to it. <laughs> and it looks like that he messed up on the spelling. But anyway. Um, and this this was on the... I remember this on the... Um, what do you call it? The documentary thing that I saw. The quote-unquote... Or quote... Quote... Quote, unquote, documentary thing. Uh, look at those eyes on that unfinished body. It's weird. I just noticed that. Anyway, um, he will kill without remorse often those companions who have traveled with him. He will eat the flesh raw from the corpses. I have seen this happen many years ago. A craving for flesh that cannot be uh, seated. And then the change begins. The eyes turn first and become milky and white. Then the teeth become longer like fangs, the creature grows and the skin is pulled uh, taut across the bones. Oh, jeez. Missing disaster. There was a tribe that lived in these mountains, the Cree. We learned about, or... There's a lot of history to this. Yeah. I, I don't think I learned a lot about the Cree, but, um... A girl at my, at my old school mentioned the Cree a lot. There was a lot of mention of the Cree. So this is going to be interesting to learn about. 
Um, and for those of you that don't know, uh, the Native Americans here in Canada actually really had a rough time, and I, I do, well, all of you probably know that, but yeah, I do feel bad for them. Um, and uh, I think they were planning to, or at least I was thinking, because uh, when they made that movie Hot Pursuit, they didn't, <laughs> they made it in intention of making the Hispanic people feel like that they, you know, mattered and that they were cool. But, uh, yeah, I, I think I was thinking that there should be, like, a, a Native American movie that makes them feel that way. Uh, but, yeah, uh, the Native Americans, they uh, tried to settle in Edmonton, actually, and uh, they they didn't, it didn't end up working very well for them, and they just kind of became a little bit, like, uh, yeah, they just kind of, unfortunately, became, like, the poor people of the, of the time, and nobody really, after the whole battle struggle, nothing was really mentioned, uh, the one guy was trying to be, uh, what do you call it, um, prime minister, but then he, I guess, got shot down by a religious guy, a religious nut, actually, because that guy was crazy. He kept thinking that if he, I think it was like if he kept, he thought that if he kept killing the East Indians, then, or no, sorry, not the East Indians, sorry, I keep calling them that, that's bad of me. Uh, if they keep, if he kept killing the natives, that he would get, you know, that he would serve God's will and plan and whatnot, and that's pretty crazy, that's not how that works, but anyway, um, uh, yeah, and, uh, the, but yeah, um, they kind of stopped doing that after that, the guy was just kind of like, uh, we'll just live on our own, and I think they eventually did get, like, you know, they did live in the community, but then it all just kind of, they all just kind of became not, they, they were still looked upon as not humans, and then they were still treated poorly, uh, and the kids in the schools were treated very poorly, and, uh, then a guy was running, a white guy was working alongside with the Native American, uh, the, yeah, the Natives, and he basically was trying to help them, and there was a whole battle after that, and, yeah, so that's very interesting, uh, history in my, in my books, um, I don't know about you, so I'm sorry if I bored you with that, but yeah, this is going to be interesting to see what uh, what this book will tell or pre-tell. Their shamans tell stories of a of a tall creature born in ice, the tribe. You probably read that as I was talking, so sorry. Uh, I'll read it quickly. Uh, born in ice, the tribe expected the mountain and all the animals which. Or I gotta, I gotta read it like I'm actually reading it in order for me to get it. So I'm sorry. Respected the mountain and all the animals which lived on it. So that's cool. Uh, respect, the tribe respected the mountain and all the animals which lived on it. The mountain became scared to the Cree. Sacred or scared, yeah, sacred to the Cree. Every animal became sacred also. The Cree believed it was bad luck to harm an animal on the mountain and would hunt elsewhere. Hmm. And, ooh. No, nothing important. Uh, in 1893, the miners arrived. They found, uh, tin... All right, sorry, so I'll just finish reading this, and then the recording will be done. Uh, and then I have to go. Uh, found tin and later traces of radium. They mined deep into the sacred mountain. The Cree say that the mountain cried out, and the spirit was released. Oh, no. Uh, the Wendigo's eyes change. They become both sharper and more dim. The Wendigo sees movement. It is a hunter like a hawk. Is this because the Wendigos are mutated from humans? 
When they hunt us, they know how to perfectly mimic their prey. Oh no. Uh it is a hunter like a hawk, but it cannot keep stillness if you are to keep totally still, uh then it won't see you. The skin and flesh of the Wendigo are hard like armor, they seem to feel no pain, they they can't be stabbed, be cut or stabbed, even bullets will not pierce their skin, uh, though a shotgun will, you know, keep them away. Because the Wendigo is mutated from a human, it knows how to hunt us, it can perfectly mimic it, its, mimic its prey, it must remain sharp and disciplined. I have killed six Wendigos, huh? Knives or bullets will not harm them. Use a flamethrower. Ooh, it is the best weapon. Fire envelopes them, burns away their skin, and makes them weep. But try not to kill them. Uh, killing a Wendigo should be the last resort. Death releases the Wendigo spirit into the air. Ooh, I've contained them. How? I use traps to catch them and fire to drive them into cages. Hmm. Oh, okay, so the... All the cages in there, basic. Oh, that's that's neat. Uh, basically, keep the spirits in. Ha, huh, that's cool. I guess. Um, and use traps to catch them and fire to drive them into cages. The traps were baited with human limbs for those who had no further use for them. One by one, I I caught those who had infested the mountain. Okay, so the Wendigo that is killed, so, uh, so biting them will not let you, biting them will not, or peop, them biting you will not, or scratching you will not make you angry, or will not make you like this. If you kill them though, then you will, yeah. Uh, there are... Oh, oh no, 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 what? no, no. What is it? What does it say? Yeah. Sorry, I couldn't read that. Uh... What did it say? I have to read that. Sorry. Uh, and with the stats... Let's look at her stats. So she's super curious, and she really likes Chris. Okay, let's see, uh, there may be de defenses, shamans wrote of rituals, I have found native artifacts on the mountain, and copied them, totems, ooh, bunches of herbs and feathers, I copied their designs, I have tested them, out on the mountain they work, they keep the wendigo at bay, not entirely, but enough, sorry, that I didn't read it like this before, it's just I couldn't concentrate before, now I can, for some reason. Uh, they keep the Wendigo at bay, not entirely, uh, but enough. But inside buildings, they do not work. So, uh, okay, so we found a lot of them outside. Cree legends say that the Wendigos grow from the bite of another Wendigo. Oh no. Oh no, but the bite is harmless. Oh. Uh, I have been bitten, but I did not change. The only way is to eat the flesh of another. There is no other way. Okay. So she's okay. She's like, ugh. I don't think she's gonna be okay. You're so stupid. How dare you? And maybe she's thinking, ooh, Chris. Uh, reassure. I'll just reassure. It says that the bites, it, if it bites you, it's not infectious. It doesn't do anything. Let me see I, that. I'm sorry, what did you say? Um, it says she'll be okay. It says what? Yeah. Fine. Michael almost shot me. Is that she fine? Didn't shoot you. And this bitch but almost let him. Hey, that's not fair. She was scared. I'm yeah, the one stop it. Scared. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm like, I didn't know what was going to happen. There's None of us know. There's no excuse. There's no excuse for this. Like, I'm just trying to understand. understand Come on. Stop. Bitch. <laughs> what? I'm sorry. 
You don't know. Let M in. Ha ha ha. No. That did not just happen. Oh no. Chris should have done something. There we go. Actively triggering events that lead to someone's death or passively allowing a tragedy to occur. Because you couldn't lift a goddamn finger to help someone else. Oh, so we are Josh. Remember last year? Huh? How you left your poor sisters to die? You did nothing to help. I wish we could have played in a way where we help. While a real threat was closing in. Now I knew it was all in his mind. It's always all about you. <laughs> has gone terribly wrong. And your friends like his sisters have deserted you. You're all alone. Aww. Can you feel how cold your loneliness has been? I can. Oh, I feel so bad. It's just like Mr. Robot. Did you hurt them? Joshua, why did you hurt them? I don't know. They hurt me. But they didn't hurt you, Joshua. Not intentionally. They made a stupid mistake and a terrible tragedy befell I your guess. sisters. You did not intend. Uh. And they were sorry at least until you subjected them to your night of horrific torture. I feel bad. I'm so sorry. Let's hope that it's not too late for atonement. And that your friends, if they still are your friends, can save you from. It's but he's dead. Isolation. And that's how he becomes Elliot and Mr. Robot. <laughs> no, I don't know. Oh, it's so sad. Oh my god. Oh. Thank god. What took you so long? Not so good up there right now. Oh, he's gone. We're too late. Shh, quiet. Uh, yeah, he, uh... Wait! Don't move. So my worst nightmares have become to... We were all Joshua. What are you looking for? Another way out. Mike, there's no key. I wonder Josh, if you play it differently. You gotta have it. And what is if all you that? play it in the way where the all the I was down there. tropes so are, you know, all done and whatnot. The 50s, I guess, and uh, miners got trapped down there. Because I hear that like, if you play it a different way, that um, it'll go, oh, yeah, you're, everything's now. going fine. You know, you're Fuck, playing your game all, all good. Oh, but, like, if right you thing. don't... But if you do Can this, I, uh, then yeah. So I wonder if, like, you do all the tropes and whatnot, then yeah, it'll be different. I really should have, though. Just. Uh, oh, this is the part the that I was talking about with him finding the dog, and then yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I should have. What do you call it? Uh, uh, I should have. Should I let Matt look at the telescope thing? I keep saying that, but anyway. Uh, I have to go now to school, so uh, I shall see you later, Skeletor, in the next video. Goodbye for now. And we shall, uh, I don't know, I should, I should just keep this consistently cut like, uh, like the best friends. So, onwards!